Hi YouTube, welcome back to the second part in this series of the Hackintosh build. And in this episode, we will be actually building and assembling all the components together to build the Hackintosh itself. First of all, we're going to start off with the power supply. Okay, so that is the power supply now installed, four screws to secure it into the case. And as I failed to mention, um, there is a additional fan in the bottom of this case that we've already pre-fitted. Okay, next up we're going to install the motherboard and just to save a little bit of time, I've already pre-installed the CPU, the heatsink and the RAM into the motherboard. Okay, so now we've got the motherboard screwed in. What we've done is we've ran the power cable from the power supply up and this is the 12 volt CPU power and this has all been tied down to the points on the chassis of the case. Also here we've ran the top mount SATA power cables, the USB cables and the 24 pin power cable for the motherboard. Okay, next up, we have the graphics card installed into the PCI 16 lane. We've also installed the graphics card support bracket and the Wi-Fi network card. And as you can see, all the cables now come through the cable management holes straight into where they need to go. On the rear of the case, we can see the two slots that's taken up by the graphics card and also the single slot taken up by the Wi-Fi card and the antennas are now installed. On the top of the case we can see we have the power button, the reset button, two USB 2.0 ports, headphone, microphone, two USB 3.0 ports and a switch for the front LEDs. Also we have the power and hard drive light and on the top we have a bay here which is for plugging in a SATA drive, just like so. It will take two and a half, as demonstrated, or a three and a half. So an excellent solution instead of having to have a separate USB to SATA device for hard drives. Also on the top of the case, we can see we've fitted two additional fans. These don't normally come with a case. Okay, so having a look at the inside of the rear panel again, we can see that we've made a better effort at the cable management. Everything is now all neat and tidy, maximizing airflow and reducing all the clutter. And looking from the inside of the case, as you can see, all the cables now come through all the cable management holes and everything is now neat and tidy and secure. And one last thing I forgot to mention is we have also installed a Blu-ray reader and DVD rewriter. It's made by Samsung and the model number is SHB123. And this connects via the SATA connection. Okay folks, so that is the build complete. As you can see, all the covers are now on the case and this is how it stands. I'm sorry this video was a little bit brief, but there's that many videos out there on how to build a PC. Please stay tuned for the next installment where we will be making the software that will enable us to install Mac OS X. And as usual, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know.